Hello, everybody. I am Yolanda. I'm co-founder of Harper Therapy, and Elena Klein has brought a really important conversation um, to our community mm -hmm. because this is something, this topic is something that we see quite a bit of, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So we've been talking for the past several weeks of like, what happens mm -hmm. when you're in a relationship that isn't working for you? Right. But you're not, it, it's not so bad that you know for certain, like, I'm totally out of yeah, it. Yeah, there's not, like, anything terrible happening. Right. Right? It's not like there's um, abuse or, right. you know, anything so bad that it's like, oh, I... Those are clear. Like, yeah, breakers, yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's, yeah. that's the hardest part, right? When there's not, like, right. oh, this this means I have to go. Right. 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 Um, it's just more like something's not... Yeah. Something's not being... Right. This is not the relationship I thought I yeah. would have. This is not the marriage yeah. that I thought right. I would have. Yeah. Yeah. So we've explored that component, um, you know, uh, throughout our conversation. Like, mm -hmm. what is it? what is it like to consider, like, the D word or, right. like, some other options? Just thinking about just what even options might like, be. Even bringing those those different scenarios to your mind. Mm -hmm. And today we really want to talk about like getting some clarity around, mm -hmm. okay, if I do stay, right. what does that look like? What needs to change? Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of people come in into therapy and, you know, they really want to look at the partner. What are they doing? What needs to change with them? Like, mm -hmm. let me tell you what you need to change in order for me to be okay. That's not couples therapy, by yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't yeah. work well. Yeah. <laughs> but there might be things in the relationship right. that you want to change. So, right. you know, a lot of times when we're doing couples therapy, we're not so much looking at who's at fault or who's to blame, but we're looking at kind of the pattern and dynamic Absolutely. that happens between the couple. And so you may not be able to have conversations without one of you getting defensive or, or hurt or, right. you know, angry because these are hard things to talk about. Right. That is something that's not working for you. Right. 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 The way that we talk about things that are hard, that's right. not working. Yeah. Or maybe you want to have deeper conversations about what your hopes and dreams are for the mm -hmm. future, not just like Netflix and chill every night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. Like you want to have sure. like, Hey, where, what are our goals together? What, right. what are our shared vision? Um, right. Where do we see ourselves in? In, yeah. in, in a few years, yeah. you know, not just kind of the, the status quo. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, th there's a metaphor that I've used in my relationship, like over the years, it's like there are times that we're in the boat together and we're rowing together in the same direction. Mm -hmm. And there's times that it feels like I'm in the boat by myself. Mm -hmm. And in those situations, I'm like, what needs to change here? Like, mm -hmm. what is my part in this? And what do I feel needs to change just in the yeah. relationship? What am I hoping for? What are my dreams for yeah. this? Yeah. 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 So I think those are, those are some of the questions that we ask our clients when they're in this place of ambiguity and they're thinking about if I stay, what needs to happen in order for this relationship to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. potentially work? I think it's, I think it's important too to kind of pause and say like, this is work that can happen within a couple session, within the couple dynamic. Mm -hmm. Like if your part, if you and your partner are like mm -hmm. wanting to explore this together, mm -hmm. then you come in together as a couple and, and this is work that you do as a couple. Mm -hmm. If your partner is not interested in therapy and you can't talk your partner into mm -hmm. coming to therapy, the parts of you exploring what you need from the relationship, mm -hmm. what's non-negotiable yeah. for you and you know, uh, changing your side of the pattern are things that you can do individually Absolutely, that will impact your relationship. I definitely have done work with a couple, with a person individually where that work goes and impacts that person's relationship. Yeah. I always tell clients like, you know, you can focus on the other person, but in any type of equation, like basic math, right? A plus B equals C. If you change A, the outcome C is going to change yeah. even if B doesn't. Yeah. Right? A change in part of the system changes right. the system. Yeah. Right. And ultimately, we are only we can only control yeah. what is right here, yeah. right? We can't control our partner. Right. Um, but having some clarity about what you need, mm -hmm. what's okay, what's not okay, is part of how you can shift what's on this side right. of the equation. Right. Yeah. Right. And that is something that we do to help with... Uh, 
individuals and couples here at Harper Therapy. So if you would like some more information about how we might be able to help you individually um, in your couple dynamic or you individually that might influence your partnership, then give us a call at 813-434-3639. You can schedule a free consultation with Alina, one of our other amazing therapists here. Um, and, and get going so that you don't feel like you're in this stuck place. Right. All right. We'll talk to you soon.